So get yourselves ready to receive, amen. I'm on go. So get yourselves ready. God's on go, and He wants you to grab this, amen. And say, This is for me. Yes, yes, this is for me. Everybody said, This, this is, this is for, for me. me. <laughs> All right, praise God. What a happy Sunday morning to you. All those of you that are joining us right now. Amen. Amen. What do we have to do? Is just sit at the potter's lap and let him mold us and shape us the way he wants us. Amen. Because none of us are finished yet. Amen. He's still working with us. Yes, he and is. <clears throat> some of us need more work than others. But anyway, that's okay. <laughs> we're learning, we're maturing in the things of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't see yourself a loser. Don't see yourself a quitter. Don't see yourself that way. See yourself a learner. Right. And you learn something new every day. Yes. And we mature and grow. And he says, come assemble yourselves together. Amen. We come assemble ourselves together. You know why? To complete one another. To encourage one another. To say, you know what? You can make it. Yeah. God is with you. Amen. I've been praying for you. Amen. That's what we want to hear. We want to say, well, well, you know, when I share something, you want to share something better. You know, so you get around people like that always want to compete, you know, and they know more than you do. Amen. And sometimes, you know, I just quiet myself. You know, I just want to glorify God, you know. Just let him blow that horn, you know, and that's fine. No problem. But anyway, we come encouraged and mature in the things of God. Amen. Yeah, so we're not God. here to put nobody down. We're here to uplift yes. one another. Amen. He said, yeah. let God arise and his enemies be, be scattered. Yeah. Yes. I want to share this with you. Um, just like I share the word uh, every Sunday. And a lot of us already know it. But we, you, when, we, when we come with that kind of attitude, yeah. unteachable attitude, is wrong. I mean, you shouldn't even come. Period. <laughs> if you're going to sit before the master, it's I'm open. I'm teachable. You sit before the potter and you're that clay. And he can work with you. Amen. Amen. And he's going to mold you the way he wants you to be. Not the yeah. way you should be. Amen. And we're going to get into this. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> Listen to this. Huh. Let God arise. Pastor Pat was talking about that. <laughs> and let his enemies be scattered. Mm. Let God arise. We got to change our tradition ways. Mm. We got to change our mindset. You know, because we think, well, this is the way it should be. And it shouldn't be that way. It should be God's way. Yeah. You know, there's a whole lot of stories on in the Bible that talks about how Jesus healed yeah. people, but then different ways. Yeah. And they weren't the same. So he's a God of variety. Yes. And then we shouldn't put him in a box. We shouldn't just keep him, you know, to one thing, the way we want him. You know, we hold. We want to keep him. We want to limit him. And he's unlimited. So when we release him to, to have his way, you know, that's yeah. what we want to do. We don't want to just hold him and say, well, it should be this way. And you know what? You're not teaching the way it should be. And we're not coming there no more. Well, that's fine. Bye. <laughs> Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Yeah. If God is brought up, it's about him. It's not about us. Well, let me read you the whole thing I wrote here. Change traditions. Change mindsets. Mm -hmm. It's always been done this way. We don't want to change. Well, adios. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and here's, here, here, I wrote that to, to tell you this. We just don't come to church. We are the church. We oh. got to get this church. All right. We are the church. We, we just don't come to church. That's right. That's you know, <laughs> I was taught a different way. Huh. But when I read the word, now I'm thinking the way the word of God wants uh -huh. me to think. Okay? This is a building we come to. And yeah. we assemble ourselves together at this church, at this building. Okay. <laughs> I just don't come to church. I am the church. Mm -hmm. Or you can say it like this. I don't go to church. I am the church. Amen. Wherever you go, you are the church. You are the body of Christ. And we got Christian uh, brothers out there, Catholic brothers, Episcopal brothers, Presbyterian brothers. Yes. You know, it's time we stop fighting each other uh -huh. and start acting this way and come together in unity and pray for one another. Yeah. We're doing this, we're, we're fighting one enemy, and that's the devil. Mm -hmm. 
You know, our Christian brothers are not our enemies. That's right. We are not enemies of each other. Uh, so, <laughs> we had church already. Yeah. See yourself this way. Amen. Oh, I'm going to church. Mm -hmm. We say to them, are you, are you going to church today? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> to church. Yes. We're assembling ourselves together. Yes. You know, he says, do not forsake the assembling Same. of yourselves together. Right. He says, he didn't say, make sure you go to church. No. <laughs> no. You are uh -huh. the church. You are. you are the body of Christ. Hallelujah. Woo. You know, he says, know the truth and the truth is going to set you free. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. So anyway, let the word of God bless you, encourage you, change you, convict you, whatever it does. You know, and it, it had a different effect on every one of us. So if you cry, you jump, you holler, or, or whatever, you know, when he says you're free, you're just not going to stand there and do nothing. That's all right. When he says you're free, you're going to scream and holler and do something, you know. I mean, if you're alive. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. He told Lazarus, come forth. Yeah. You rose somebody from the dead. Mm -hmm. And we just go sit on the side and mm -hmm. do nothing. Mm -hmm. and we scream and holler when somebody slams the ball mm -hmm. or somebody scores a touchdown. Man, we we, we get all kind of excited. Yeah. Praise God. Woo, right. Hallelujah. <laughs> Man. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm on fire, I don't know about you, but <laughs> grab your Bibles, grab your swords, and man, soldiers of God, I mean, we've been talking yes. about this. Are you ready? Yes. This is my, my Bible. Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today I'll be taught the Word of God. I boldly confess my mind and my word, my spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same. <laughs> Where does the enemy attack the most? Uh -huh. The mind. The mind. The battlefield of the mind. My mind is alert. You know, when you come in, you sit, get your mind straight. Mm -hmm. You know, they go, who's playing today? <laughs> what's going on over here? Who's having barbecue oh. today? Or what's happening? You say, oh, I can't oh, wait to get God. this over. Oh. No. This is his time. You know, it's not pastor's time. This is God's time. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'm just a messenger. Amen. Pray for me. Amen. I want to make sure I get it out. I want to make sure I, I deliver this. <clears throat> so anyway, for lack of better words or titles, I just name this when trouble comes. I know you guys don't have any troubles, <laughs> but I, I, I just I just put myself there. When trouble comes, yes, when trouble comes, when the storms of life <clears throat> come, <laughs> we read. Let God arise uh -huh. and his enemies be scattered. Yes. So whatever is attacking you may not be attacking me, but still is affecting you. And it affect it affects me. So I want you to be encouraged. Amen. Yes. I want you to be encouraged. There's a couple of times, but let's go read one of them. Let's go to Mark. We'll open the Bible to the book of Mark. And chapter four. This is just one and it's also in the book of Matthew. Mark chapter 4, verse 35 starts there. Mark. Mine starts off with storm be still or storm still. Huh. <laughs> it says, the same day when the evening was come, he said unto them, let us in red, I don't know about yours, mine said in red. Jesus says, let us pass over to the other side. See, if you know Jesus speaks the truth, when, as soon as he said, let's go over to the other side, I don't care what comes. I'm standing on his word. They would have said, okay, we're going to make it no matter what comes. <laughs> but they didn't hear too well. They had a hearing problem. 36 says, and when they had sent them, the multitude, uh, they took him. I'm glad they took him. Amen. You know, wherever you go, take him. Yeah. It's good. He's good company. It's good to take him with you wherever yes, you go. Amen. He says, I never leave you nor forsake you. So everybody say, hey, let's go. We're going. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to take him with amen. you. Amen. So they took him with him, even as he was in the ship. And they were also with him other little ships. At 37, and there rose what? A great storm of wind, and the waves beat on the ship. So that it was <clears throat> now full in 38. And he was in the hinder, way in the back part of the ship, <laughs> asleep on a pillow. And they awake him. And they said unto him, Master, carest not uh, thou that we perish? 
39, and he rose and rebuked the wind uh -huh. and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased. And there was a great calm. And verse 40 says, And he said unto them, Why are ye so fearful? Uh -huh. How is it that ye have no faith? And verse 41 says, And they uh, feared exceedingly and said one to another, What manner of man is this, that even the wind and the seas obey him? Uh -huh. Amen. Yeah. So, he spoke to them. First and foremost, first he told them, he says, uh, we're going to the other side. Yeah. And that should have said it. We're going. He said it. We're going. No matter yes. what comes against us, you know. <laughs> That's right. What he told Moses, stick that right out there. Uh -huh. Staff out. And the sea parted. Mm -hmm. He's always with you. The storms have come. Yeah. He had some problems. Army was behind him. Mm -hmm. Getting close. And there's a sea in front of him. And I see no way out. But God. Let God arise. Yes. And let his enemies be let scattered. Enemies Amen. Be scattered. Amen. <laughs> anyway, if you want to follow that, Matthew 8, chapter 8, verses 23 through 27, also talks about the same storm. Troubles come to all people. Save or unsaved. I don't know if you noticed that, but huh. whether you're saved or unsaved, yeah. troubles come. Yeah, they do. Amen. Except we should know what to do. Yeah. Family problems, marital problems, mm. uh, health problems, financial problems. Uh, addiction problems. <laughs> We've all been there. We've all been through some, and you know, <laughs> I can camp out on some of them. Mm. But you know, it's not time to camp out. It's time That's to move right. on. That's Amen. <laughs> We've all been there. The fact out. that we are saved doesn't mean that trouble <laughs> will never come your way. That's when right. trouble comes, realize your source. Yeah. And your source is Jesus, uh -huh. <laughs> the Word. Um, Jose used to seek other things, <laughs> um, drugs, <laughs> alcohol, um, friends, other things. We seek other things yeah. besides Jesus first. Yeah. Troubles always gets our attention, mm -hmm. but we often rely on self, mm -hmm. our skills, our abilities, family, friends, money, drugs, alcohol. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It seems like everything's going smooth and we're in a little comfy zone. Guess what? Mm. Hmm. We forget about Jesus. Yeah. Through the prodigal son, you know, say, hey, Father, I'm okay now, you know. Mm. I'm glad uh, you got me this far, but I can go from here on. Mm. <laughs> I don't need you anymore. Mm. So we just go and do our own thing, you know. Sometimes we, uh, we've talked about this before, but we use him like a spare tire. Oh, yeah. Use only oh, yeah. as needed. As needed. Uh -huh. Use only. In case of emergencies, now I'm talking about you, about me. I don't, you don't, you, you just grab it for yourself. Uh -huh. You know, we just, hey, everything's going smooth, so I don't need you anymore. Hmm. And we just lay back. But guess what? The enemy's busy. Yes, he is. He's always busy. And he's listening. And when we're not fellowshipping with the Father, we're fellowshipping with the world. Mm -hmm. And when we fellowship with the world and don't renew our mind and don't feed our spirit man mm -hmm. and don't crucify the flesh, the flesh is going to jump up mm -hmm. and the flesh is going to start following the world. And we're going to start talking like the world. And the enemy is listening mm -hmm. what you're saying. So we open the doors and say, come on in. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know how you got in. Well, yeah, you know. Yeah, you know. Your eye gate, your ear gate, and your mouth. <laughs> Those things got you in trouble. Yes. So you got to be careful. In case of emergencies, yes, we use in case of emergency. <laughs> and then, of course, uh, I've been here before. Dig me out this time, and I promise I'll change. <laughs> I promise I will do it again. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> this is Jose now. <laughs> I promise I will we got you on tape. <laughs> you got me okay. Oh my God! Got me wrong. <laughs> How many times we've sat there? But you know what? It should also grow us up. Yeah. We should also mature from this. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yes. He's, she's getting me on video. Now. <laughs> <laughs> we are powerless without him. Yeah. No match to the devil. I wrote it two ways, so I'll give it to you both ways. See, part-time Christian is no match to a full-time devil. That's right. Man. Or a part-time Christian cannot defeat a full-time 
devil. Yeah, that's right. Man. That's it. You by yourself, seven sons of Sceva, tried it. And he says, <laughs> Jesus we know, mm -hmm. Paul we know about, but who are you? Mm -hmm. Don't try to go out there playing church. Yes. Don't go out there playing around. <laughs> They got beat up, okay? Uh -huh. All of them got beat up and ran out and just ran out all naked. And they was hurting, you know? So we're not pretenders. We got to be for real. Amen? Yeah. We're no match to the enemy. Mm. He is consistent. Mm -hmm. He is persistent. Yes. And he is there. And yeah. he is full time. We yeah. need to also be full time. Yeah. Not just yeah. Yeah. sometimes. Once in a while, uh -uh. you know, hey, Easter's coming. Oh, I got to go to church on this. <laughs> realize, realize God is our source of yes. power. We talked yeah. last week about the full armor of God. He is our source of power. You know, uh -huh. I was here yesterday. <clears throat> Use a vacuum cleaner. It's a great tool. Yeah. But you know, if you don't plug that thing in, it doesn't do its job. Oh, man. <laughs> I'd rather use a vacuum cleaner than sweet, you know? And I plugged it in, and guess what? You turn the switch on, and it works. Amen? It works, and it does a great job. Yeah. I know where to plug it. I know where the source, the uh -huh. source is. The power. We need yeah. to know where our source of power is. We must have an attitude of gratitude and dependent on Him. Yeah. Trouble storms, hopefully, will drive us to God and not yeah. away from God. Yes. Uh, amen. You know, <clears throat> when you get away from your source, uh -huh. and you get away from Him, and you start fellowshipping uh -huh. <laughs> with the world, you start desensitizing yourself, and you start weakening yourself, and you start acting like them, you know? They say you hang around with skunks. <laughs> <laughs> you don't smell like a skunk. <laughs> okay, you still love pastor. <laughs> it's time, it's time. <laughs> Abandon ship. Yeah. Unload all that extra weight. Yes. Excess baggage. Yeah. Another thing you need to get rid of is oh, okay. We just started a new year. Get rid of excuses, you know. Oh boy. If you see an excuse this year, don't pick it up. Let it go. Somebody else will get it, I'm guaranteeing you that. Yeah. And let go of all excuses. Uh -huh. Get rid of the devil, all his friends, all his family, and anyone or anything he uses. Yeah. If you're not for God, guess what? Guess who's using you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> The enemy. Oh no, I'm I'm just I'm just neutral. You know, I'm just no. I'm just neutral. No, uh -huh. no, no, no. He says hot, cold, but not lukewarm. That's right. And don't That's play right. Don't do part time. That's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> because the enemy is going to have you. If God's not using you, the enemy is using you, whether you know it or not. But he is. All right. Well, still no pass here. <laughs> Submit to God. Cast all your cares on Him. That's what He tells us. Submit to him. Mm -hmm. I say, Lord, I submit myself to you. I cast all my cares on you. You know, why is it you're still carrying all these cares? Why is it you're still carrying all this uh, weight? Let it all go. You know, he says, you don't need these things. To be effective for me, you got to get rid of these things. But you're still trying to help him or you don't trust him. Yeah. If you trust it, give it to him because he yeah. said give it to yeah. him. Yeah. He didn't say halfway That's right. or a little bit. Mm -hmm. He doesn't need our help. If That's he says right. give, then give. Amen. <laughs> Let him have it. Praise God. <laughs> okay, you got it. Oh, thank you, Lord. Here's another thing we've been talking about. <laughs> Guard your words. Speak faithful words. We've got our I am list back there. Mm -hmm. Get those I am's and Practice those. Practice those. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Confess the things he said, says about you. Mm -hmm. The word says about you. You're not a loser. You're a winner. You're yeah. a champion. You're an overcomer. Amen. You're more than a conqueror. You can do all things through Christ. Confess these things and stop speaking defeat. Stop speaking mm -hmm. words that will open the door for the enemy to come in. Mm -hmm. Amen. Just because... So and so said it doesn't mean you got to receive it. Amen. Mm -hmm. Psalms 
Sounds hard, no excuse, just do it. It's your choice. You know who speaks for me? Me. The biggest problem you have is in front of you. When you stand in front of a mirror, that's your biggest problem. You gotta deal with this problem. You gotta deal. Wow. Confess good things for yourself. Yeah. See the way he sees you. Yeah. If he sees you this way, you think he put you here because you weren't qualified? Mm -hmm. Why would he put you on a mission if you're unqualified? Mm -hmm. You've already qualified. Mm -hmm. And he's put you here because he sees that you're qualified to fulfill the mission he put you yeah. on. And if you're not gone yet, he ain't finished with you. That's right. He just wants you to get yourself yeah. up to Como Se Llama uh -huh. <laughs> and get with it. Uh -huh. Amen. That's it. He's He's for you. He's not against you. Man. That's right. Amen. He's for you. He's not Thank against you. And coming to church is a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> you are a church. Yes. So he's going to call you wherever you are. Yeah. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. This is our daily confess confession. Mm -hmm. Amen. Wherever you happen to be, I can do all things through Christ. Yes. You know, uh, your lady has come up so many times, but Paul, mm -hmm. the Apostle Paul, wrote two-thirds of, of the New Testament. Mm -hmm. And some of us don't know that he was locked up the whole time. Mm -hmm. When you're in prison, you're locked up. Yeah. <laughs> but see, yeah. Yeah. God was using him effectively, yeah. and he was doing for God effective mm -hmm. work, mm -hmm. getting the word out to the, the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. But the prison wasn't holding him back. Mm -hmm. That's it. Amen. So once you whatever's holding you back, let it go. Yeah. Amen. Let it go and let God. Amen. Let go and let God. Yes. Hallelujah. Our words are carriers. And he carried a creative power of life and death. Of course, Proverbs 18, 20, and 21. Life and death are in the power of the tongue. The tongue. Mm -hmm. You know what you use your tongue for? <laughs> speak words. Yes. Power is in the Lord. words you speak. Yes. So you can speak negative words or positive words. Uh -huh. But when it comes out, you sow. Those are seeds that you're sowing in your life. Mm -hmm. So the first thing to do is be selective of the words you choose. Amen. Amen. Right. Jesus did it. We can do it. He says you can do it also. He says you can do all things through him yeah. who strengthens you. Amen. Most of the words spoken today are negative words that bring death, trouble, problems. Uh -huh. See, I don't know why these things are still happening to me. Mm. We have to <coughs> listen to what we're saying. We get around a certain group and we talk a certain way. We get around church and we talk a certain way. Mm. We got to stop that. We can't do that. Mm -hmm. You know, the best thing to do is don't say it. Remember, watch your words and your actions. Remember that. You're the closest thing no Bible they'll ever see or read. And they're reading you, I'm guaranteeing you. They're reading yeah. you. Oh, yeah. they're, they're reading you well. Mm. <laughs> Just mess up one time, they'll let you know. Mm. We're bombarded daily by negative media, negative words, TV, internet, newspapers, radio, people, family, friends, co workers. Oh, boy. I guess the most loveliest family that always tells me all my shortcomings. <laughs> He always remind me, he says, you know, you always done this. You always did this. You never amount to, amount to anything. Mm. Don't receive those things. You know what you do? Hit the delete button. Mm. Amen. Amen. You don't receive that. It could take you back and put you back to square one. Mm -hmm. I said, you know, you're talking about the wrong person. A person don't live here no more. That's a different address. I'm a, new, I'm a child of God. I'm a child of God. I don't live there no more. Mm. Amen. So, yeah, we're a tribe being, spirit, soul, body. Feed your spirit, the word of God. Soul, which is your mind, will, and emotions, renew you, your mind to the thing with the word of God. Mm. Because the enemy, this spiritual battle that you fight on a daily basis, is on your mind. Your mind. Your mind's going 100 miles an hour, even faster than that. Mm. And all those thoughts are there. And you've got it. Let them know. Amen. If you meditate on it, it's got you. 
You got to let it go. Yes. Amen. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Romans 12, what, uh, 12, 2 says this in the NIV. Do not conform to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by what? The renewing of your mind. Your mind. Then you'll be able to uh, test and approve what God is willing, what God's will, God's will is. Mm -hmm. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. Yes. The power of faith-filled words would completely change your attitude about the words you speak. They can change your life, your future, your course. Uh -huh. Amen. Words are like seeds sown, going before us, planting your future, your life. Amen. Or you can say it like this. You can use words to frame your world. So you can either build yourself up mm -hmm. or tear yourself down. Mm -hmm. But you're doing it yourself. Yeah. You're framing it. You're framing it. Yes. Or you're tearing it. Mm -hmm. When trouble comes your way, the song says what? Let God arise and his yes. enemies be scattered. Yes. Or you can say it like this. Let God arise and let your cares, your troubles, your problems be scattered. Yes. He's not giving us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. And he tells us in, in Peter, 1 Peter, it says, cast all those cares on me. Yeah. Give it to me. Again, we keep hearing this, mm -hmm. but we have to do it. Mm -hmm. You know, when you take it on your own and want to keep it, you can't do anything with it. That's right. You cannot take it from him unless you give it to him. you got to release it. And when you release it and cast it on him, then he can have it. Mm -hmm. But leave it there. Don't take it back. That's right. So many times we hear this. We magnify the problem more than we magnify God. Mm -hmm. My God is bigger than any problem Amen. they can ever be. Yes. <laughs> I don't yes. care how big the problem is. Oh, it's yeah. something new. Mm -hmm. It's a new sickness. It's a new problem. It's a new everything. Mm -hmm. But it ain't bigger than my God. That's right. Amen. <laughs> little Goliath. I mean, little, little David. Yeah. Walked out and saw Goliath, the great giant. Uh huh. And I wrote it like this. Somewhere. It says, Little David, big God. Yeah. <laughs> little David, big God. Mm -hmm. Might be little you, mm -hmm. but you're God. You have a big God. Amen. You don't yes. have a little God. You Amen. have a big God. Amen. That's right. That's <laughs> Bigger right. than all your problems. <laughs> Bigger than anything. Magnify God, not your troubles or your problems. Church, we must let God arise. Let Him have His way. Let Him have His way. He is a God of variety. Yes. He's not a God. Let's not stick to our tradition or the way it's always been done. You know, if you're going to come to this church, it's going to be done this way. Mm -hmm. Well, adios. <laughs> I'm going somewhere else. Because if you're not teaching the Word... You're doing it your way mm -hmm. or traditional way. Mm -hmm. I'm going somewhere else. Amen. It's not about Amen. religion. It's not about religion. It's That's about right. relationship. Amen. Amen. It's about Him. He Amen. is relationship. Yes. Amen. And yeah. we're going to do it His way, mm -hmm. not Jose's way. Amen. Let Him have His way. You know, I've told you this many times. Um, I might have a message. But we're going to flow with the Holy Ghost. And whatever the Holy Ghost wants is what's going to come out. Yes. Hallelujah. You know, you might have one of you come up and share one day. I'll sit down. He says, the Holy Ghost wants it this way. Let's go to Psalm 68. We, I told Pastor Pat, I said, I want, I want you to sing this song. <laughs> Psalm 68. And verses 1 through 3. I am reading from the King James. I don't know whatever translation you have. <clears throat> Are you there? Psalm 68, 1, 2, and 3. It says, Let God arise, let his enemies be scattered. Mm -hmm. Let them also that hate him flee before him. Mm -hmm. As smoke is driven away, so drive them away, as wax melted before the fire. So let the wicked perish. At the presence of God. But let the righteous be glad. 
let them rejoice before God, yea, let them exceedingly rejoice. Psalms 118.24 also says, this is the day the Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad in it. <laughs> Rejoice and be glad in it. Some of us wait till we see the weather if we're going to have a good day. <laughs> Some of us wait to see what time of the week, what time of the week it is, or what day of the week it is. Why is it we only thank God for Fridays? Thank God it's Friday, but we never say thank God it's Monday. Thank God it's Tuesday. No, it says rejoice and be glad in it. I already made up my mind. Greater see this in me, and I'm going to rejoice and be glad in this day. Why? Because. Your eyes were opened, and he's given you a new day to Amen. rejoice and be glad in it. No, no, no day is guaranteed. And for him to give you another day, I say, praise God. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. and thank you, Lord. Mm. It's two beautiful gifts he's given me to open these beautiful eyes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. People react to trouble and storms in different ways. Now, let's say you can write these down. Hopefully... <clears throat> Some people grumble, <laughs> some people gripe, some people groan, some people grieve, some people growl, Oh, gee. <laughs> and some people grow. Uh -huh. <laughs> we want to grow, we want to grow, we want to mature, we want to grow, uh, grow up spiritually in the things of God. Amen. We don't want to stay a spiritual babe all our lives that's right because you know if you don't if you're not trying to improve yourself and grow yourself the enemy's going to have you all the time yeah Amen. you know it's time we take the authority given to us and put him on a run instead of him running all over having us run all over the place thank you amen i got yeah. you <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Let him say it. Sounds good. So, Hallelujah. grumble, gripe, groan, grieve, mm -hmm. grow. I've done them all. <laughs> but we got to grow. Amen. Amen. And you know what? You can grow. Allow yourself yes. to grow. He wants yes. to grow us up. We need to mature. It's Amen. called spiritual maturity. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Trouble will never leave a person the same. It will either leave you <laughs> bitter oh, or better. That's right. Hopefully better as yeah. we're maturing and growing. You know what? I learned something. Um, I don't want to hit myself with that door again or with that hammer again. I know better. You won't do it again. Yeah. <laughs> I've grown. I don't want to do that no more. Mm -mm. Hopefully, he'll leave you better. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're hoping for. Amen. You can live a successful life even in the midst of the storm. Mm -hmm. Praise God. They say there's peace in the storm. Mm -hmm. So praise God. I want to be even if you're in the middle of it, there's peace. Yes. Just because trouble comes your way doesn't mean that you have to take it laying down. That's right. Or throw in the towel or quit uh -huh. and give up. We're not quitters. We're winners. We're champions. Amen. We're overcomers. We're more than conquerors. Yes. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Uh -huh. Know who is you are. Yeah. And who you is back in you. Mm -hmm. Who is you are and who's back in you. Yeah. He says he never leaves you, so he knows there when enemy tries to come, mm -hmm. and he sees who's backing you. Mm -hmm. He's gonna go. He's gonna flee. Yes. Amen. You know that yeah. little David. Uh, he didn't just walk out there, scaredly, all scared. You know, in front of the giant. The Bible says he ran to him. Mm -hmm. He ran to his problem. Mm -hmm. he says you're a biggest problem. I'm going to knock you down. He said, I'm going to cut your head off. <laughs> I'm going to cut the source. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When the source is gone, you ain't going to be no more. And guess what his friends did? The whole army ran. Yeah. <laughs> they was gone. Say, whoa, our hero is gone. We're out of here. <laughs> yes. No mas. Little David, big God. Yeah. Little problem, big God. Yes. Whatever it is, little Amen. or big. Yes. He is the big. We cannot escape from encountering trouble in life. But Jesus has given us the power of <clears throat> authority to drive troubles or storms away. Use your power. Use your authority God has given us. Amen.
And uh, some of the, last week we talked about the uh, the armor of God and some of the spiritual weapon God has given the church. And these is only a few, these are only a few. The name of Jesus, the blood, the word, Holy Spirit speaking in tongues. These are only a few. You know, binding and loosing, all these things. Prayer. You know, He's given us all these spiritual weapons for us to use, and we need to. We need to Grow in these things, amen. We need to grow and use these weapons that He's given us. He says, You cannot uh, prevent birds of trouble or storms or cares from flying over your head, That's but right. you can stop them yeah. from building a nest That's right. over your head mm. or your life. Amen. Amen. It's going to come. But you know what? They can just keep passing because they ain't going to stop here. That's right. <laughs> Stop running from your troubles, storms, yes. or worries. Cast it all on him. Give it to him. And uh, take a stand. Again, last week we talked about this. Ephesians 6, 13 and 14 says, Put on the whole armor of God or the full armor of God. Verse 13 says, This is why you need to get the whole armor. Then on the day of evil or the day of trouble, you'll be able to stand strong. And when you finish the whole fight, you will be able to stand. And when you've done the stand, you stand strong in Him. Yeah. I'm standing strong in Him. Mm -hmm. You know, when we mature, we grow roots. Yeah. We grow spiritual roots. And they go down. Yeah. Amen. And I'm going to be able to stand. I'm not going to be rocked back and forth mm -hmm. or move. I want to stand. You know, when yeah. the winds come, when the troubles come, I'm standing strong in Him. Amen. In His Word. Amen. So thank we need to do the same thing. Spiritual roots, deep spiritual roots in us. Yes. Thank you. James 4, 7, and 8. <laughs> An easy to read version. So give yourself to God. Stand against the devil. Mm -hmm. And he will flee from you. Yes. The easy to read version says he will run away from you. <laughs> he will run away from you. But verse 8 says, come near to God and he will come near to you. You are sinners, so clean out, clean sin out of your lives. Uh -huh. You are trying to follow God and the world at the same time. Make your thinking pure. Yeah. Renew your mind Amen. to the things of God. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Psalms 23 and verse 4 in the Amplified goes like this. It says, Yea, yes, though I walk through the deep, yeah. sunless valley of yeah. the shadow of death, I will fear no. or dread no, no evil, That's for it. you are with me, yeah. says your rod to protect, mm -hmm. and your staff to guide, they will comfort me. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He is with us. Even though you walk through the valley of shadow of death, we fear no evil because I am with you. Mm -hmm. Whatever storms of life are coming against you, know that he is with you. But you got to get it from you, and you got to give it to him. Amen. Because he says to give it to him. Mm -hmm. So stop carrying those extra weights. Mm -hmm. Stop carrying that extra care. Yeah. Whatever problems are coming, Lord, I'm mm -hmm. casting these on you. Mm -hmm. Amen. He yeah. knows what to do. God is our safe our place. Uh, excuse me. God is our safe place and our strength. He is always our help yeah. while we're in trouble. Amen. Always, not sometimes, but always. Mm -hmm. Romans eight thirty one. More than conquerors. What then shall we say to these things? If God be for us, yes. who can be against us? If God be for us, who can be against us? <laughs> but so and so said. Forget about what so and so said. Yes. <laughs> if God is for us, who can be against Amen. us? You know, but you fail, you sin, and God can't use you anymore. God won't see you anymore. God won't hear you anymore. And it showed me in the Bible. Show me scripture. Oh, uh, well, well, uh, somebody told me. Yeah, I know somebody told me. But show me in the Bible. Well, uh, I can't. I can just go by what so and so said. Mm -hmm. Well, forget about what so and so said, what people said, or whatever. And go by what the Word of God says. Amen. You know the truth and set you free. Well, since you don't know, let me show you what the Word of God says. This is what the Word of God says. Can you show them so seed? So they can come to Christ. Amen. Amen. I don't have to fight with them. I'm showing what the Word of God says. So see and pray first. 
their salvation. Mm -hmm. For them to be set free from bondage, from not knowing the truth. Amen. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. So it's not just about us for it no more. It's about God so loved the world. That means all people. The same people that are out there that don't know the truth that are sinning. Jesus, same Jesus died for them. We have to reach them. So when you leave these four walls, <laughs> you go out into your mission fields, wherever they happen to be. Mm -hmm. God's using you mightily. And you're a vital part of his body. Amen. Amen. See yourself that way. I mean, he's got you there for a reason. Somebody's lost and he's using you to reach them and touch them and bring them into the kingdom. Or sow a seed. Just say, Jesus loves you. That's an awesome, powerful seed, you know. Say, Lord, I delivered your message. He's going to see to it. It's water. And he's going to give the increase. Yes. Woo, hallelujah. Praise yeah. God. Praise yeah. God. We can stop there. Amen. Praise That's God. the only amen you ever said. And that was pretty loud. That was pretty loud. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Well, I'll just go one more. Okay. One more. <laughs> I'll read it to you. A couple of scriptures. And we just went through this several times. But first Peter 5, 7, 8 through 9. And the Living Bible says, Give all your worries and cares, troubles to God. When he cares about you. And verse 8 says, Stay alert. Watch out for the great enemy, the devil. He prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Mm -hmm. Someone. Don't be the someone. Amen. And verse 9 says, Stand firm against him. Mm -hmm. And be strong in your faith. Remember that your family of believers all over the world is going through the same kind of suffering you are. Yeah. And Psalms 55 and 22 in the Good News Bible says this. Leave your troubles with the Lord. Amen. And He will defend you. Mm -hmm. He will not permit the godly to slip and fall. That's right. This is the word of God. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> he will not allow you to slip and fall. Amen. He is praise with you God. all the time. Amen. All the time. So praise God. Those of you that are watching my audio or video, listening, if you have never accepted Christ, now is the time. So all you have to say Amen. is, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Mm -hmm. Come into my heart and be my Lord and Savior. Yes. Get yourself to a Bible-based church where you teach the Word of God. Amen. And start growing and maturing in the things of God. Amen. Yes. If you have any ailment, any sickness in your body, just touch that part and say, Father, yes. I thank you to invite Jesus Christ to be healed. Yes. says, lay hands on the sick and it shall be covered. Amen. Amen. Be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. So praise God. I believe.